What about you? Welcome to the Premier Lawns video. Today I'm going to show you some easy tips to level your lawn. So, stick around. Tip number one, guys, whenever you're going to be top dressing your lawn, you want the lawn to be as dry as possible. There's a heavy dew here this morning, so I'm going to get the lawn more out and we're going to give the grass a cut and that's going to take away the dew and give us a nice dry surface to work from. So let's get on with that now. Today we're going to be using some sand to top dress the lawn. Now this isn't normal sand, this is actually a, a sports sand. This is double wash USDA sand. So a really sort of specialised product. Now whenever you're real, real mowing or using a cylinder mower, the more level you can have the lawn, the easier and the better it's going to look. And we want it just to look like glass. So let's get on with that now. Now you don't need to use anything as fancy as a level. You could just use a string or even a plank to find the dips and help you tell where all the big undulations are and where you need to spend your time on. But also just visually having a look at the lawn and having a look to see where all the humps and bumps are. All right guys, now before we get too far into this, if you're enjoying this video on how to level your lawn, make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like this, because I post regular lawn care tips and tricks on bringing your lawn to the next level. So let's get on with it. Now, I'm going to let you into a secret, guys. You want the material as dry as you can. And whenever you're top dressing, a flat shovel is what you want. And you don't want too much on top of it, and then it comes off the shovel lovely. This sand here, we've actually had in the shed for the last couple of months, and it's dried off and it's an absolute joy to work with because it spreads out really well. So in the grand scheme of things, this lawn is actually pretty level. We killed it off last year and redid it, and we leveled it then. But over time, your lawn does move about and it sinks in different places. So we're just going to use the sand to really smooth that surface out. Now, what I would say, guys, is it doesn't top dressing with sand or top dressing with soil, all good. I really wouldn't be top dressing with compost because as the compost breaks down, it's going to decrease your levels and really mess things up. So, if you're going to be doing any top dressing, make sure you don't have any compost on it. So as you can see, we've got all this top dressed. We've paid a bit of attention to the hollows and we put a wee bit extra in. Now, one of the most important things whenever you top dress a lawn, either with sand or the soil, is to actually let it dry. So we're gonna go around and have a look at some tools that we can use that'll help brush the sand into the lawn. So let's go and do that now. We'll have a few different methods here to, to mat in the sand now. I'm going to actually have to hurry up because it's trying to rain. It was meant to be dry today, but welcome to Northern Ireland. The forecasters can't get it right. So we'll have a few different methods now. I have a professional drag mat, and a lot of you guys says to me, Robbie, they cost hundreds of pounds. We can't afford that. So we bought this thing off Amazon. I've already done a video on it. I'll put a link down below about it. You can make a drag mat for absolutely next to nothing. This thing costs less than 40 pounds. I also have a selection of lutes or long levels 
to show you. So we're going to try them all out and see which one works best. But I have to put this one together, so let's get on with that now. Now, a few people sent me pictures of their, their lawn leveller. What I say is, if you have it all rolled up sitting in your shed, you're actually using it wrong. You want to set it flat and just put the lawnmower on top of it. Right guys, so that's the mat together. We also have a couple of lawn loops here. We have a 30 inch one, good for if you have really, if you have really big dips, this is pretty good. This would be used more for soil. It's just slightly different the design. And it's got a bendy handle on it to make it a bit easier. So we'll see those now. Right, Right guys, so you can see a couple of passes up with the, just the mat. Fantastic job, really quick. So let's get the let's get the lawn lit and see how that goes. This one here is a bendy a bendy handle on it, which makes it a bit easier. Pretty hard work to push, but that's really getting the sand in. I think if you were to do a whole lawn with this, you would know all about it. Now this thing here is called a, a lawn level. It's very popular for using the level lawns, but it does match stuff in lovely. And the, the beauty of it is it. It'll really help if you have any undulations in the lawn. But I'm going to show you another method that you can use to level your lawn. So you don't actually need to spend anything. So let's do that now. So the one tool you can use that might actually surprise you is actually just a brush. You can just use a brush to brush your lawn. Now, it's not going to be as good a job as the lawn look or as our mat, but it's going to be something that you're probably going to have. The only downside to this is that it's not going to smooth out your lawn. It's not going to level it just as much, but it's going to help just brush in the stuff, the material you're using. Now, it might be useful to use in and around really tight areas. Just keep that handy. If you all know, if you have any questions about the stuff I'm covering, always leave me a comment down below. We'll build the videos around the questions that you guys ask me, so let's get on with it. All right, guys, so just my final thoughts on what works best. I think that the, the mat works really well for mountain areas in, especially for bigger lawns. I'm going to go against the grain and say that I'm not a big fan of the lawn lutes. I know a lot of You'll see a lot of YouTubers, they all recommend them. For certain areas, they're good. If you have a really undulating lawn, they're pretty good for that. Just for the top dresser of your lawn nice and easy, I think this wins hands down. And the brush for in and around floor beds and tight to get areas, maybe the edge. I think as well, these things here are really good if you want to seed your lawn, if you're seeding your lawn. Even in the winter, if you want to get rid of worm cast, then the mat's going to win hands down well above this here. These are pretty hard work for what they are, just, just my opinion.